Good morning, I'm Dr. Yusuf. I'll be going to walk you through one of the nice apps uh, that uh, Johnson & Johnson has made uh, to simulate vision uh, for patients that are going through cataract surgery to make uh, lens choices. So this is how the app looks like. You can get downloaded from the uh, App Store. It's called Technus Vision Simulator, so I can download it to try it. And uh, the app just goes through the normal eye and then the lens options and the vision simulator for that. So let's walk through the normal eye. So normally if you're looking at the distance, so there's the, the lens, uh, this cornea, the lens, and this is the retina where the light should focus. If there's an object at the distance, uh, it focuses through the cornea here and then through the lens, which naturally is clear, and then it should focus right on the retina and the brain will see the image from that. So. There's two objects here. So there's the cell phone, this is the close-up, and there's the far mountains, this is the distance. So just to simulate it. So in the case of what we call hypropia, so the light is actually focused behind the retina. So everything's out of focus with that. It's worse for the close-up stuff. And then there's a condition called myopia. The, the light is focused in front of the retina and and it's worse for the distance stuff. So a lot of people with myopia, they have really good close-up vision, but they have bad distance vision or short-sightedness. Astigmatism affects both conditions. So there's two curvatures. So it affects throughout and both close-up and distance. The worse the astigmatism, the more the distortion, and the light is not, not focused in the same, same area. Astigmatism can be com combined with myopia and hypropia. So these conditions can be uh, combining. In addition to that, with age, the lens start to not to focus very well. So even if you didn't need glasses for distance, you might start needing glasses for close-up. So you can see that the iPhone is getting more blurry up close, but while the distance is okay. So we can have the combination of all of these conditions uh, together, uh, myopia or hypropia with astigmatism, with presbyopia, and add to that you with age, so presbyopia always hits up in the 40s. Cataract hits usually after that, sometimes earlier. But uh, you can see that when the cataract is progressing, the colors start to go, the vision starts to get blurrier, and the colors becomes washed out. The denser the cataract, the more blurry is the image on the retina, and you see worse and worse. And it's a very gradual process usually, and uh, that's the problem. A lot of people are not aware of what's happening because it's very, very gradual. Then comes cataract surgery. Uh, we'll take this bad lens, remove it, and implant a new lens and instead of it. And you, see, you can see that this lens goes behind the pupil, not in the front. A lot of people think that it goes on the surface. And the cataract is inside the eye, not on the surface of the cornea. And you regain your vision. So all what we're talking about too today is what kind of lens implant will we go for? So this is a vision uh, chart. So it's a little complicated, but uh, and these lens options we have newer ones. So instead of the Symphony, we have now Synergy. So it's a more advanced form of that. The multifocal lens and there's the toric lenses and monofocal lenses. So it's simple uh, with the Synergy you would see all distances in, in focus. There's Synergy Toric, which is the correct astigmatism in addition. And there's the monofocal lenses, the Toric, and the Technus monofocal, which is what we call uh, a spheric lens to improve the, the quality of night vision. So, but let's go to the vision simulator here. So on the top, you'll find, if you have astigmatism, you can just click on that or unclick it. So let's unclick it first. And in the bottom, you will see the vision. Let's go and start from this image, which is the outdoors image. And it shows you three different distances. So there's the mountains, there's the grandfather and his grandchild, and there's the post, and there's the phone. So these are a lot of different distances. So the phone is close up, the post is intermediate, and then they are in the distance. So healthy eye will see everything in focus. But it comes age. So presbyopia you start the close of vision is getting worse and worse while the distant vision is okay. And then the cataract hits and you start to see the blur in all of them. 
and we remove the cataract. Hey, okay, we got more vision back to the distance, the monofocal. It's a monofocal for distance, so it clears the distance vision. And but the close of vision is now corrected, and a major part of our the day is close up and intermediate. So we have a lens now that's not on this list, which is called eye hands, which improves the intermediate. So the, the post will be in focus while the iPhone will be out of focus. But if you have long arm enough that it can stretch your arm, you can actually see some of the stuff on that phone and you can see the distance. So comes the, the symphony or the synergy, you will have them all in focus. The synergy will have more close-up vision than the symphony, so that's why it's my favorite lens uh, for this period. And at night, if you have a mo monofocal lens, you see the distance clearly, you don't see a lot of halos, and uh, but you don't see the dashboard. But comes if you use one of the synergy, symphony, multifocals, the, the close-up becomes in focus, but the distance lights have a little bit of halo around them, and that's what really they call halos and glare can be annoying but it's it's a trade-off so if you choose you want to see the dashboard in focus not out of focus like this the trade-off is to have a little bit more uh, night vision or distance vision halos and glare but it's not that bad people tell me it's okay so another view here let's go to this here so this is a different thing so the book is in focus everything's in focus uh, comes breeze by obvious so the book is, out, is coming out of focus first and then the intermediate becomes out of focus and then hits the cataract affects everything and then you get the monofocal lens you see the distance but you don't see the close-up and intermediate and then if you have a synergy symphony or multifocal lenses you will see all of them in focus if you get a monofocal okay you can see the distance but you don't see the intermediate and close-up and then comes the multifocal or synergy or symphony you will see the distance the intermediate and close-up but at the same time there's a trade-off with the halos and glare and this is another image and this is a common one in the restaurant so you should see it all the time when you're young comes age you start losing your close-up vision comes cataract you lose all of them gradually and then you remove the cataract and plant a monofocal lens you can see the distance well and if you have a multifocal lens, uh, you can start seeing the close-up, intermediate, and distance. And it's a slightly light dependent, so if you have a better light, you will see better. And then you can see monofocal, you can see the distance, but you don't see intermediate. And then comes the, uh, the sym symphony or synergy or the multifocals. You start seeing them all, but the trade-off. So if we add to this astigmatism, and let's increase the stigmatism so you can see that everything is blurry even when you're young so that's why you use glasses throughout your life and comes presbyopia it even even gets worse comes cataract wow that's bad and then you get a monofocal lens so your vision is clearer but you still need glasses because the stigmatism is still there and if you go to uh, a, a, a multifocal but without correct astigmatism it's not going to be good you're still not going to see well okay and this is it so if you don't see correct astigmatism your astigmatism is affecting you throughout but let me change the lens to a toric okay so now the, the astigmatism now they still young then older then cataract then comes the monofocal but comes this symphony or synergy toric now we have the synergy toric and now everything is in focus the close up intermediate distance and astigmatism corrected so those lenses they have to stay along the uh, stigmatism axis so that's why you do have measurements and you have to make sure that the lens stays in that position so again monofocal at night you can see everything is in focus but with the synergy or symphony torx, uh, everything is back in focus. So it's worth the investment in these kind of lenses. So again, this is the nice app. You can walk, walk yourself through it, and uh, it will give you a lot of information, so it helps you make a decision.